back to another Motivational Monday. All right, team, uh, we are happy to have you in. Let's get dialed in with our space, with our uh, equipment and things of that nature. But if you're new to the program, welcome. I'm BFIT Ambassador Roy Montez, joining by my partner, Senior Master Sergeant Sonny Berry. How are you doing today, now? Hey, good morning. And how was your spring forward this morning? <laughs> my spring forward was um, uh, challenging, <laughs> just uh, as adapting to the new uh, forward, right? The new pressing of the extra uh, forward of a loss. So uh, we're, we're just getting into our rotation right here, we're getting into the movement, getting into things, uh, settling into our Monday. But welcome and, and thanks for joining us, all right, team? Uh, if you're new to the program, welcome in. This is our chance to really focus on our health, on our active bodies, moving forward in a uh, cardio and resistance based workout type of day for today. That's exactly what we have programmed for you for today, a cardio and resistance, a hybrid type of workout. So uh, be mindful of that as we run through our program of workouts, but uh, leave us a note in the comment team. Leave us a note, leave us a comment, let us know where you're joining from, let us know where you're engaging with us from, where you're watching from, where you're tuning in from around the world. Let us know how you're doing today. Um, and uh, keep our BFIT Nation team um, in, in accountable and in, in communication and, and with a positive reinforcement of comments. All right, team? So with that, um, let's jump into today's workout. Again, I mentioned we have a hybrid type of workout, sorry, break. So we have a, um, four different movements that we're gonna uh, tackle for today. Again, our timing is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Within those rounds, we are going to hit a staggered stance jump squat, which is a bit more of a cardio based movement. We're gonna grab a, a single pair, a single dumbbell because we have a single squat hold plus a side step. So two steps to the left and to the right. We'll go ahead and demo each of these movements as well. Uh, then we're gonna jump into a pair of dumbbells because we have skier swings into a push press, okay? Uh, a lot of uh, bang for our buck there with that movement. And last but not least, movement number four, challenge our, challenging ourselves on the floor with a yogi push-up, all right, team? So again, a hybrid cardio and resistance space working through today, okay? We'll demonstrate each of these four movements before we get started. We'll jump into some dynamic stretching to prime our bodies up, getting us ready to go. And then we'll jump into our workout, which is just under 20 minutes. So that's all we need to really uh, celebrate our active bodies by uh, this workout for today. So um, again, let's go into our demos for today. All right, team? Um, movement number one, sorry, right? you wanna demo movement number one? We are in a staggered stance position, which just means our feet are gonna be heel to toe, nice and close, nice and compact. So we're thinking that front leg, we're loading up a lot of our weight. We're gonna go down into our squat. When we extend up, we're gonna explode up, switch legs, land heel to toe once again, drop down to our lower squat, and then explode up into our staggered stance uh, jump squat. So uh, again, a lot of moving pieces here, but again, keeping our heart rate elevated into that staggered stance jump squat. All right, team, we're gonna move dumbbell uh, with one dumbbell here. Movement number two, we're gonna grab our dumbbell from left to right here, uh, or whichever is more comfortable. We can do a goblet squat here if this is more comfortable on our wrist, but we're thinking a bicep engagement with this, low, this hold on front. We're gonna drop down into our low squat position. So wherever our low squat is, we're dropping down into that low squat, right? From here, we're gonna laterally move to the left and, and to the right. So two steps to the left. If you have more room, go ahead and take more than two steps here. We're gonna drive up out of our squat position, come back down, sit back in, keeping our chest up, one and two, and then we're driving right back up, okay? So a little two for one here, moving in different planes of motion. So laterally working from the left and the right out of those uh, movement. You can feel, you should be activating our outside of our glutes as well as our quads. So moving on to movement number three, we have dumbbell skiers into a push press. So a lot of movements going on here. We're gonna initially set ourselves up. So feet are gonna be shoulder width apart from here. As always, we're gonna keep a soft bend at our knees. Hinging here, this is gonna be the key point here. So when we hinge, we're gonna really push those hips back, right? Our dumbbells are gonna keep a uh, momentum, a swing momentum. So we're thinking of driving through our hips and driving through our lower back as we push and swing up. We're gonna rotate those dumbbells into that front rack position and then we're gonna press them up overhead just like Sergeant Barry is doing. So nice control here, find that momentum. Again, our power is coming from our hips, 
our glutes, our hamstrings, once we speed it up, you can find that momentum out of those dumbbells, out of that weight, nice flat back by pushing those hips back, loading up on that front wrap position and then into our overhead press. So a full body workout here, especially keeping our core engaged and under control uh, with movement number three team. Okay, and kicking off movement number four to round out our workout here is going to be a yogi push-up. So we're gonna come down onto the floor here. Hands are gonna be stacked right outside of our shoulders, just like a uh, standardized push-up, okay? So from here, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna push those hips back where our heels come down towards the floor. That's gonna be a pike position, right? Pike head gets tucked in towards our arms. From here, we're back into our high plank, coming down, chest meets floor, driving up, and then repeating into that high pike position. You should feel that activation in your shoulders as well. Coming down once again, core is nice and tight into our plank, coming down into our, our chest press, and we're right back up team, okay? If we need a modification here, we can go ahead and drop to our knees for our push-up. Leading with our chest, keeping our hips up. Head looks down, back into our high plank, pike, knees, press. All right, team, that's gonna be the modified version of the yogi push-up. But those are gonna be our four movements for today. Again, a hybrid workout here. So really think about engaging our heart rates and keeping it elevated as we push through our four different movements. Sound good, Sandra? That sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I know we're with this team. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get settled in once again. Uh, grab your towel, grab your waters, uh, grab your space and those dumbbells if you need them. All right, team? Um, again, if you have a kettlebell or anything like that, that could work as well if you have that available to you uh, for today. So, uh, Lupita, good, uh, good to see you here. Good to see you here. Uh, greetings from Saudi. All right, uh, <laughs> Saudi's in there. Uh, Eddie, uh, good to see you in here from Alabama. All right, welcome in, welcome in. All right, I hope you enjoy our workout that we have available for you today. So uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and jump into our dynamic stretching team, all right? We, wanna, we always wanna make sure that our bodies are warmed up and prepared to work. So let's start off <clears throat> with a reverse lunge with an overhead reach, all right team? We're thinking dynamic stretching here, we're thinking about warming up our bodies, so we're gonna come to the front of our space, we're gonna push that right leg back into a reverse lunge, our right arm goes up, drops down, and reaches over to our left side, right? Controlling these movements here, we can go as fast or as slow as we need, drop that rear knee down, feel our hips opening up, we have some quad engagement, some glute engagement, <clears throat> hip flexors as well. If we're seated for a long period of time, uh, this reverse lunge can really help opening up our hips. All right, team. Keep that chest up as well. Feel that stretch in your lats <clears throat> as you reach up and over. A few more here. Really quick, we'll double time into this last rep here. Down, over, reach, and we're right back up. <clears throat> All right, team. We do have some lateral movements here to the left and the right. So, we're gonna set our feet up nice and wide, wider than shoulder width apart. Our toes are gonna to be fixed forward. From here, we're gonna shift our weight over to the right and to the left. You're gonna feel a little bit of a stretch inside the inner part of your thigh. Pushing those hips back, keeping that chest up. This is gonna be your lateral lunge. Lateral lunge here, all right? Now you can speed this up. A little bit of a double time here, feeling the stretch ever so slightly, nothing too aggressive here. We're not loading it up just yet, but keeping our chest up, warming up our glutes, our quads, our lower body, getting that blood flow to the right muscle groups here. All right, team, good work here. All right, from here, we're gonna go into, yeah, we're feeling good. <laughs> we're feeling good here. A dynamic quad stretch. So we're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna extend it back, take our right arm, and we're gonna extend it up and overhead. Pushing our hips forward, just like starting Barry's doing. She's gonna feel that stretch on the front part of her, of her hip, as well as her hip flexor as well, okay? So left arm and right arm, left leg and right leg. Again, we do have some shoulder movements for today, so really thinking about extending that right arm up and overhead. 
<clears throat> Good job, team. <clears throat> All right, just moving through these stretches before we get started with today's workouts. Last one here. Push forward, reach a little higher. There it is. All right, and speaking of that last lower body or upper body movement, since we do have some presses, shoulder work again, mid to upper back, we're thinking YTWs to finish this out. So our feet are about shoulder width apart here. From here, our hands are coming together. That's gonna be our center point. We're gonna reach up into a big Y formation. Our thumbs are gonna be facing the back of the room. Feeling that mid to upper back, our shoulder blades are coming together. Back to center here, a big T formation. Again, thumbs facing the back here. You can feel your shoulder blades activating back to center. And a big W, nice proud chest. Nice deep breath in and out. Big Y once again, going through that same sequence. Big T. Nice deep breath and a big W. A little quicker for this set. Y, bam, T, W, and one more. I like it, I like it, T. <laughs> and W here, showing off our biceps. We're gonna get working. <laughs> All right, team. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get uh, ready to get started for today. But again, welcome in, welcome in. <clears throat> Powder Springs. Powder Springs, Georgia? Powder Springs. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, welcome in. Again, leave a comment. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're working out from. Uh, we will go ahead and get started. Again, as a reminder, movement number one, a little bit of cardio-based uh, staggered stance jump squat. Movement number two, that single squat hold with a side step. Two, three, four steps, whatever we have room for. Movement number three, we're looking at skier swings with an overhead press. A lot of full body movement there uh, with some added weight. And movement number four is gonna be on the floor with our Yogi push-up. All right, team, this is gonna be our hybrid workout for today. Let's go ahead and set our timers. That way we can get started here. All right, kicking things off. Just a few seconds. Five seconds here, Todd. We're up in three, two, one, and go. 40 on the clock here. Again, staggered stance. So we're looking at a nice loading up of that front leg, exploding up, trying to get a little bit of air in between you and your feet, keeping our chest up, dropping down, loading up, and exploding up as well. Don't forget to use your arms for momentum, right? Really help carry you up into that air position. All right, 10 seconds here. I know, I know. Last five seconds here. A little note here, try to keep your knees shoulder width apart as well. And 20 seconds of rest here. Uh, working through that one, working through that one. Tough one here. All right, we're gonna grab a dumbbell here. We have our low squat position into some lateral work here. All right, so we're up in five. Single squat hold with a side step. Two, one. Find your low squat position. Feet shoulder width apart. Soft bend at those knees. Working to the right and or to the left. Driving up. Squatting back down. And then working laterally here. Good. Again, challenge yourself here wherever your slow squat is. Find that position. It may not be as low as ours, or it may be deeper than ours, right? Wherever our fitness level is here, we can modify it as well. Good, good job, team. Last five. Out in two, one, and time. Good job, 20 seconds to recover here. Picking up a second dumbbell into those swinger, dumbbell swinger push presses. All right, team, we are up in five. Let's go, three, two, one, here we go, team. Pushing back, driving up. Remember our power is coming from our hips into our overhead press. Nice controlled movements. Front rack here, as we work through that front rack position, should be wrist right over our elbows. Yep. There we go, last 15 here. Out in 10. Good job, team. Remember to drive through our hips. Actively think about that momentum, that power coming from our lower body. Two, one, and time. Good job. Woo. 
All right. Kicking us off with movement number one really jump starts our heart rate right there. Yes. <laughs> All right, five seconds here, team. We're on the floor here for our fourth movement of the workout. Yogi push up here into our push up position. Again, our hands are underneath our shoulders or just outside into a high pike, settling ourselves down into that high plank, push up, and we're resetting to that pike. Again, going at our own pace here, pressing back into your heels, into that pike position. Core is activated. If we need to regress, remember we can come to our knees, drop leading with our chest, into our push up, into our plank, into our pike. Push up, plank, pike. And time. Good job. Tongue twister. Really it is a tongue twister. <laughs> Didn't practice it. 60 seconds here to recover team. Good work, way to finish round number one. All right, again, we have three more rounds here. If you're just joining us, you have Sergeant Barry and you have myself, Beef and Ambassador Roy Montes. We're working you through four different hybrid movements for today. Elevating our heart rate, really thinking about engaging our full body with today's workout. Again, team, 30 seconds here for rest and recovery. We're looking at switching up our mindset here. If we have additional effort that we can give for the second, third, and fourth, let's try and progress through each round. Okay, team? Way to work through. Way to work through. Good, team, good. Again, leave us a note. Let us know how we're doing here. Staggered stance, jump squat. Five seconds here. No weight needed. However, if you had weight, you could apply that here. All right, here we go, team. Driving up. Nice, solid, explosive movements here. Good. Again, going at our own pace here. Nice, soft landings into our feet here. A little bit of air in between you and the floor. Drive through that front loaded leg here. Good, take your time here. Last 10 seconds, team. Yep. We got this. Yep, we got it, team. Last five. Out in three, two, one, and time. Stand up, nice and tall. Take that 20 seconds to recover here. Heads up, arms up. We're moving around here, team. All right, single dumbbell here. Move into that single dumbbell. All right, three seconds here, team. Two, one. Again, dropping down into our low squat position. Stepping out to the right end or to the left. Drive it up. Sit back down, and we're back over. Good. Again, nice controlled movements here. Think about our side step as well. Should be shoulder width apart, however far we step out. That's how much we should step back in. Our feet. Setting ourselves up, shoulder width apart at our squat position. Last eight seconds, team, keeping our chest up. Out in three. Good job, timing is on point today. Good job, there we go. 20 seconds here. Moving with an additional dumbbell. Swings into overhead presses. Again, our momentum driving through our hips into our overhead press. All right, team, 40 on the clock. Here we go. Load up, press up. Good, find our cadence, find our tempo. Good, as you press those hips back, as you push them back, our head is looking down as well. Nice, neutral spine. Good, just like a pendulum here. All right, last eight seconds, team. Five and out. Doesn't take much weight to activate. And time. Good job, lower body, biceps, shoulders. We're covering all the bases today, team. <laughs> all right, team. Working through our second round here. We are up in five into that. Yogi push-up, two, one. All right, team, setting ourselves up into that pike. 
Down into our press. Remember in our pike position, set ourselves up with our foot placement as well. A little wider foot base can give you a little bit more stability into that high plank. 20 and out here. Again, if we need to regress, we can drop to our knees as well. Lead with our chest, down into our press, high plank, into our pike. Last five. Come on team. Out of two. Last rep here, finish it out. Good job. Good job. Standing up nice and tall here. Or sorry, great. And to the audience. And to the audience as well. High fives over here. 60 seconds. 60 seconds here. So find our breathing. Find our water here. Keep hydrated. Again, great to have you in BFit Nation. Again, we are working through a hybrid style of workouts, challenging ourselves in all aspects here. Our cardiovascular, our heart rate is elevated, our muscle groups that we are targeting for today are being activated. So again, a lot going on here. Stay with us, 15 seconds. We're here, Sergeant Barry and myself are here every step of the way, every rep of the way. We are sweating with you, team. Let's go. Stagger stance, jump squats coming up in three. Set ourselves up again. That foot placement is everything here, right? We are loading up on that front grounded leg, that lead leg that we have up front. About 80% of our weight is driving up through that front leg. Good. There it is. Woo. <laughs> When you catch me, TC, when you catch me. Finishing it up here, team. Last 10. Keeping that chest up again. Knees, shoulder width apart. Driving up. Take your time and we are out. We are out. Round three. No joke here, right? No joke. Really finding the threshold of where our muscle fibers are actively recruiting and trying to push past that limit. One dumbbell here. Five seconds, team. If we had a band, this would be a great, a great movement to uh, add it to, right? So just like starting Barry is working, we actually place a band right above our knees, right above our knee here with that one active dumbbell. I'll show you with two steps out, a little bit more recruitment here, a little bit more resistance, glute activation, outside of our leg here, activating. Good, down into our low squat. Last 10 seconds here, team. I better finish that, I had a late start. Up in three, team. Two, one, and recover here. Good job, good job. Finding our breath, finding that hydration if we need. All right, team. <laughs> Two dumbbells here. Oh, ones I haven't used yet. All right, team, driving up again. <laughs> driving up into our overhead press. Again, our power is coming from our hips. Control our hinge on the way down, as well as on the way up. <laughs> what round are we working through? Three? Yes. Three. No, it's four. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Be fit nation. Stay with us here. Last eight. We came to work today. Five seconds and we're out. Three, two, one, and we're timed. We are timed. Recover right here. Woo. Good job, team. Good job. Way to stay with us here. Eight seconds here. We're down into our yogi push up. Up in two, one, here we are team. High pike, high plank, up into our press. Okay, if we need to take a little bit of time in between our push-up, sit into our high pike for two counts, one and two. Into our plank for two counts, one and two. Into our push-up, one and two being down and up. 
right? Good. Nice controlled movements here. Last seven seconds. Same with the same core engagement in that high plank. And time. Good job. Good work. There it is. Three rounds in the books today. Three rounds completed. Again, our hybrid workouts. We are working today. <laughs> we signed up for a good workout. Sarnberry and myself here, team. Let's go. Who's joining us? Who is sticking with us every rep of the way? I know we're here, team. I know we're here. Let us know. Let us know where you're at. What movement do you favor the most? I'm, I'm going to say the, uh, the skier swing to push press. Uh, that's, that's a favorite of mine. That's going to be the favorite of mine. Sorry, Barry, do you have a favorite so far? Yeah, I think I like that too because it's full body, so you're really you're right. the biggest bang for your buck. Absolutely. Really engaging and recruiting a lot of muscle uh, fibers right there. All right, team. Last and final round, stagger stance, jump squat, 40 on the clock. Working through with this last round, right? Think about executing each rep all the way to the 40 second marker. Right, that may mean we have to pace ourselves, but I want you to push a little harder than you have the last three rounds here, team. Dropping down with that, those hips push back, loading up on the front leg. Last seven seconds, team. There you go. Nice control, out in two, one. All right. Hand clap. To finish that one out, team. Setting the bar here for what we're working with. One dumbbell is all we need for our next movement. Picking our weight here. Dropping down. Two, one. All right, team. Good. Working through our movements here. Outside of our leg, being recruited here, our glutes, our quads, ankle stability as well. Our core is activated to keep our posture and our chest up here. Whew. Driving up, head is looking down. I'm sorry, head is looking forward here. Last five, team, finish it out with us. Out of two, one and time good job good work <laughs> picking up that second pair here or that second dumbbell our favorite we were just talking about this movement let's work through here find our breath and two one hinging at the hips push those hips back front rack overhead good Again, driving your power, hinging at the hips, thrusting your hips forward. Good. Nice control of your body throughout. 15 and out here, team. Good job. Finish it out with this team. Nice control here into our overhead press. Don't forget to smile here. Last two, one. And we're done for that round. For that movement. Good job. One more movement here. I know that was tough. Rounding things down on the floor here into our last and final movement. Yogi push up coming up. Finish it out, team. Two, one. We are working here. Again, every rep at a time. We're pushing. Remember our hands meet right above and below shoulder level here. Our chest meets our hands. Elbows are tucked in ever so slightly in our push up. Last eight seconds team, finish it out with us. Hold that high plank for the last three, two, one. Tom, good job. Ooh. I'm very. 
<laughs> High five here. High five to our team. BFIT Nation. Good work today. Good work. Good work. As we compose ourselves here, as we get back into our cooling off phase, take this time to cool our bodies down. Get that active stretching going. If you have any tight areas that we're focusing on, maybe it's our shoulders, stretch them out. Arm circles, absolutely. Crosses in front of you. Stretch out our lower body, our hamstrings. Take this time to really cool down our bodies here, team. All right. Hydrate yourselves as well. Stay hydrated. We did a lot of great work today with this specific hybrid workout team. Again, cardio and resistance space that we tackle for today. I know we felt every bit of that high intensity heart rate elevation <laughs> that we moved through for today. Team, good work today. Again, Be Fit Nation, Shop My Exchange, our exchange stores, whether you are in store, on location, on your installation, or outside, visit us, whether in store, on location, or shopmyexchange.com. We have everything that you may need to keep yourself in that active lifestyle. Keep yourself moving. Keep yourself moving in a active and healthier lifestyle team, from active apparel to sporting goods, fitness, um, footwear, fitness trackers, things like that nature, sports nutrition, we have you covered team. Visit us in store or online. When you step outside of our exchange stores, visit our wellness centers that can tackle uh, things that you may need from the outside in or from the inside out, brother. Uh, again, wellness, whether it be uh, some installations have chiropractic care, chiro, chiro, cryotherapy, there it is. Cryotherapy. <laughs> um, nutrition stores once again, um, and things like that, dental care and uh, things of that nature. Also, looking to move into our uh, exchange restaurants, right? We have more than 1,700 items that you can look through at our exchange uh, restaurants. More than 1,700 restaurants that you can look through and surf through on those better for you options. Uh, again, nutrition plays a big key part in living that healthier lifestyle, that active lifestyle. So replenish those calories that you burn for today with a better for you option. All right, team, if you're looking for our exchange, if you're stopping by our express stores, we have shelf tags with healthier choices items that uh, you can view, surf through our aisles where we take the guesswork out of smart snacking options, right? More than 450 or more than 400 items that you can find at our express stores to take the guesswork out to really help uh, just making that healthier choice, that choosing of that item a little bit more convenient for us team all right and as always if you're looking for additional information on our fitness our nutrition our wellness and our gear visit shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit that's going to take you to our exchange hub where we have different categories like i mentioned fitness wellness nutrition and gear where you can find our full extensive category of um workouts and a wealth of information. If you scan that QR code right there, that'll take you directly to our wellness hub. So find that QR code, scan that QR code, pause that page, do whatever we need to, scan it, and you can go ahead and uh, visit that wealth of information that we have at our exchange BFIT hub. All right, team. Um, Sergeant Barry, anything else on your end? Anything else on your end, sir? Sorry, I just want to say thanks for joining us today. And um, something I always remind myself, and it might be helpful for other people, is sometimes you may not feel your best when you're working out, but if you come and bring 100% of what you got that day, um, that's, what, that's all we can ask of ourselves and of each other. So thank you for joining us, and great job today, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, Sergeant Barry. I couldn't say it better myself. We close it out right there on behalf of Sergeant Barry and myself, Beef and Ambassador Roy Montes. We are signing off until next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, team. All right? We will see you later. Bye, team.